Hey guys, so as we know, Emerson students are super busy and always running about, and so we've got a lot of great technology here to kind of help you get through your day, make sure you get going, and that you're not behind, and that your phone doesn't die, and you're out and about. So hey guys. Hey Kate. All right, so on our lovely GME couch Yeah, here, we've gotta give a shout out if they're watching to Mike Canalupo and Maddie Avery and Christian Mudrick because the they own they own this couch yeah. back in the day. But. So we are going to start <laughs> with the first one. So this is called the couchlet and you guys can look at that. We have one in the couch right here. Yeah. So how many times are you trying to use your iPhone and you can't because your wire is yay big? About All the time. 200 times a day. Yeah, yes. you can't go anywhere. You can't make a phone call. And so the great thing about the couchlet is it is a USB extender. So you take the end and you plug it right into this little port here. There we go, and then you pop it right on your phone, and you can use your phone while you're on the couch. Wow, that's easy. It's perfect. The wires yeah. are coming out of the bag. It fits well into the little. Yeah, it fits right into the, the couch, couch, and you can really put it anywhere. So you can put it in the couch, you can put it under the couch. It's got this great little flap right here. So if you want right. to stabilize oh, it right smart. under your couch, perfect. You can use it on your bed too, so you're not stuck to just your couch. Oh yeah. Wherever you're. Ten out of ten. I know I don't have any outlets near my couch, and it infuriates me when I'm watching TV and my phone dies. Yeah. Which is such a first word problem, but like it's a problem nonetheless. And this <laughs> really kind of eliminates that issue. The great thing is, so this is was a Kickstarter. It nice. was someone with an idea and just who was really frustrated, couldn't use their phone near their couch, and was like, I have an idea, and this is eight bucks on Kickstarter. Wow. So you can nice. make your first world problems a lot easier right on Kickstarter. There you go. So the second one we're going to move over to is the Contros. And this one is really cool. I think this one actually might be, yeah, there we go, there's two. So this one might be my favorite. This is a uh, plug-in to your wall that is also controlled by your phone. So they have this great app here. Um, and you can control, so if you look at my computer right here, you can see that it's, oop, plug that back in. If you can look at, oop, okay. This is going great. You need a couchlet. I know, I need a couchlet for... <laughs> for my computer. So you see how it's uh, charging right now? You can turn it off and that light goes right off. Wow. Turn it on and That's right back on. Cool. And could you use it for like any like plug or anything? You can actually, there's a lot of really cool uses for this. So say you want coffee at exactly 7 a.m. but you're really too tired to get up, go get that coffee. You can plug your coffee machine into this and set a timer. So at 7 a.m. your coffee machine is going to go on and it's gonna make you that coffee. Um, also, you can turn on anything that plugs in just yeah. with your phone in bed. Just with your phone, and it's also great. Um, they also advertise this for like break-in control, so if you're busy, on set, can't turn your house lights on, and you're really worried, you can turn your house lights on from here. Nice, that's really pretty cool. cool. Yeah, there's a lot of options, and they have a little bit more on their website, but I yeah. definitely like this one. And then this one might have been built for me. So this is the <laughs> Energy 3K, and it is a really awesome, um, like, power bank. Yeah. And the great thing is this is pretty small. This is about half the size of your iPhone. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. it's small, fits in your bag, fits in your pocket. I know most power banks are these huge kind of things, and they don't last very long. This will last for two iPhone charges. And I know, Moses, you said you had an Android, so you don't have the I typical do, yes. iPhone. So it has a mini USB built right oh, in wow. to the port. So you can plug it right in there. Don't have to carry that wire around. Unfortunately, if you are an iPhone user, you're going to need the wire. But it plugs right in, super easy, right back into your phone. There you go. I mean, of course you can't use the wire, but I'm glad to have a win for the Androids. Because again, with the chargers, <laughs> there are no Android They're wired Apple, chargers anywhere. Yeah. And it's a nice shape too, because I know with a lot of power banks, I had a big cylindrical one that never really fit anywhere. Nice yeah. and small. See, my phone's charging right there. It's at 61, but I have a feeling in about like five minutes, it'll be way up there. Nice and easy. Yeah, and I know with like finals and everything, I'm always like on campus all day, charging my phone, doing all that. It's just a mess. So I'm glad that we have like a portable option for Yeah, that. you have options here, and I think that's really great. I know I'm always here in the studio, I'm on the go, and so it's just really nice to kind of get out, have my technology. It doesn't always work, sometimes it fails, yeah. but it's really nice. I but actually, I could use a charge. Can I grab Yeah, one? go for it. 100%. Yeah. Do you have a favorite out of these three pieces? Um, the thing is, I like them for different reasons. I love the couch lip because it's easy and convenient. It's right here on my couch. I love the Contros because I can turn on my lights, I can turn on 
my coffee machine. It's got a great night. It's actually over behind the couch, but it's got a great nightlight built in. And so Ooh. you can just, if you want to have it on your stairs, you're coming up in the dark, you can see right there with the nightlight. And then the Energy 3K, mostly because my phone is always dead. I'm always on my phone getting emails, getting text messages, and so it's really great to just Important be stuff. able to Important go on hands. the go. I think yeah. I like this one the best because there's all those expensive like home like lights and turn on and all that, and I believe this is pretty inexpensive. It's forty dollars, so it's not really bad great. compared yeah. to some of the other systems and stuff. And I like this because you can do like literally anything with it. Like if I wanted to turn on my TV. You could. I could just be like, hey. Just have everything plugged in right there. It's on. Perfect. I think this one's going to have to be my favorite. One, because I'm very broke and do not have any other Android wires. <laughs> this is true. And also just because it's nice to have something around. I know my phone's always dying when I'm off in classes or different meetings, etc. I think you just only like see. that one because someone is finally on your side. So I, I, maybe, Android, uh, yeah. I won't comment on that. <laughs> <laughs> It's okay to admit it, Moses. It's okay to be the underdog sometimes. You came out on top with this one, though. Bit of Android bias, and it feels good, to be honest. Might as well utilize it while you can. Exactly. So do you think you're going to go out and grab one of these now? I think I may end up grabbing one of these. How much are they So they're all kicks. So this one is, I think it's $16, and they're all Kickstarters. So they're all funding someone's dream, funding someone's you know ability to want to help out, and it's really great. They're out now. They're all really cheap. So it's definitely yeah, worth it. They're great quality. Kate, I'm definitely going to be using some of these. Thank you so much for bringing some of these in and showing us how they work. Of course. Yeah, <laughs> a huge fan. Kate Thanks. Bell looked at some of her favorite tech on the actual go, so let's take a look. I'm Kate Bell here at Logan Airport, and you might be wondering, why am I in an airport? Well, it's almost summertime, and that means you're going to be traveling, and we have the best technology for you to go on those trips. So I have Chris Black here with me, and what do you have with you, Chris? This is the Blue Smart suitcase. It is a lifesaver of a suitcase. It's not any normal suitcase. So what's so special about the suitcase? Well, for one, this has an incredible battery inside of it to power all the cool technology. The battery inside can charge your phone seven times over, so when you're at the airport, maybe you have a long layover, maybe your flight got canceled and your phone's about to die, you can't find an outlet, but this thing can charge your phone up to seven times. So you have all that power you need for the entire duration of your trip. Okay, it makes sense. What else, what else does the suitcase do? So when you're packing, if you're ever worried about uh, weight restrictions, there are some airlines that limit weight on uh, the bags you have. So how heavy is this suitcase? Let's take a look. Um, you could try to pick it up and guesstimate how heavy it is yourself. Wait, but, uh, wait, wait, wait. Ready? OK, all right. Uh, well, it was like 10 pounds, give or take here. 10 pounds probably feels about right. This suitcase does give us the option to check the weight right here. So if we click on the weight button, say so leave it on the floor so you can calibrate it, and hit continue. And now I'll say lift your suitcase from the handle. So go ahead and lift it straight up. I want to make sure it's not twisting or bending in any way. Just lifting straight up and hit OK. Now we're going to hold it still, and it'll tell us about 14-ish pounds. Okay. About 15. So only about five pounds off. But if you're trying to really cram as much as you can in there and really meet that weight requirement, five pounds can mean a lot. Another really cool feature is that it has quick access ports to whatever you need. So right here, you can drop in your laptop. You can drop in any other electronics you need to have quick access to. And it's all right here, including a USB charging port. Oh, wow. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. It's a great suitcase as well as a great piece of technology in general. Another feature of this suitcase is the uh, lock from your phone feature. So if you're too far away for whatever reason or don't want to be bothered to lock it yourself, you can just hit lock and yep, now it's nope, locked. Not let and me it's not in. coming open. The only other way to unlock it is either hit unlock on here and you'll see it flash and now you can open it. It can always be unlocked either with your manual key or by the TSA if they need to get into it for whatever reason so they don't rip your bag apart. So the app itself has so many great features. It can track your itineraries, for example. So right here in trips, uh, I put in my next flight, Boston to LA. I'm leaving at about 6.40 tonight. You can see it's showing me it's delayed by about 40 minutes. It'll tell me what terminal I'm going to, what gate it's at, and I'll be arriving. So I can let my family know back at home where they can pick me up. It'll show me estimated departure and arrival times. So I'm staying up to date on everything that I need to know about this flight. Especially since it's been delayed, which happens so often. You want to make sure you're up to date on all the information you need. Another cool feature of the app is that it tracks everywhere you've been so far. So far, I've traveled 1% of the world and visited one country in, in one continent. But I personally am a wanderlust, and as I travel more and more, it'll keep track of every single country and continent I've been to and show me this whole map so I can brag to my friends about it. Thank you so much, Chris, for showing off your awesome suitcase. I'm Kate Bell here at Logan Airport. And I'm Chris Black. For GME, signing off. Hi, I'm Kate, your tech correspondent for Good Morning Emerson. 
If you liked what you saw and you want to watch another clip from this episode, click the link on the left. And if you want to watch another video from this season of GME, click the link on the right. Thanks for watching.